Um, oh, great. Okay, I get to start a fight. I get to start a fight today, chat. This is a guy called... Um, I think it says Jesse here, but I think his name is Sven. You guys have to clarify who the fuck, whoever is talking is talking because I don't know these people. Apparently nobody does, um, but I'm going to dunk on him regardless. I'll just let this play out real quick. Then I had to find out about this Liz Fong Jones person, and, and then Liz to. Fong Jones <laughs> is dating like um, a trans snake. This is someone. Liz Fong like Jones a- is like that's the that's the like tech tranny that's always harassing Kiwi Farms. Like if Kiwi Farms is yeah. offline, so I like this person a lot. I'm a like, huge Liz Fong Jones fan because like they keep like Kiwi Farms keep stepping on rakes in regards to this person. It's like they just win. Your website goes offline until they stop being mad. Right, and they're not the one that does it. Like they, they they're, never gonna that, that they're never going to take that. They're never going to take that site all the way down because it's like an Intel, like it's a Intel laundering oh my. site yeah, for the. Yeah. For the As feds, is like so. most of the the whole idea of hackers is, I think, quite often like just fucking intelligence agencies sit like pretending they're functional people. That, yeah. Like the idea that they're like hackers, like they yeah. can barely, uh, people can barely like play video games, but like. Sorry, I ran to the bathroom. I've heard this clip before, so I, I didn't need to listen to it. Um, okay, so. I find this is one of the most pathetic things I've ever heard anyone say about the site. Because you have people who don't like the site for various reasons. Um, and they're at various levels of justified and not wanting the site to stay up anymore. Uh, this guy... If I remember correctly, he's the one. He is he is he Borzoi? Is is the guy? You guys have to help me with this. Is he the one that is upset because his wife's nose was on KiwiFarms.cc? Small bladder energy. That is that is me for sure. Yeah. Okay. I did get this right. This guy, I, I <laughs> Borzoi, was one of the most popular. Um, he's not Borzoi. That's somebody else. Okay. Someone told me that it started because of the Borzoi thing. And I can't tell if they're just friends or if that's just a joke or if it was Borzoi himself. I don't know who he is. Um, but I've been sent clips of him before. And every time he is simultaneously uh, seething that the site exists because he considers it a info. Info laundering is the, the right wing keyword for I was doxxed and I look like a huge on the Kiwi farms. That's, their, that's what that means. Uh, but he's simultaneously rooting for it and also complaining that the site is immune to consequences because it is a FBI info laundering site, uh, which it's he, he there's actually a specific part. Hold up. Oh yeah, for the, yeah. For the as fed, is so. like most of the, the right. And they're not the one that does it. Like they just win. It's like you can't you can't fight just win. Don't even try, chat. Don't even try the moment that you receive any resistance to anything that you do. Take down your website, retreat to your fucking, your Fediverse instance, paywall your podcast. Just admit defeat. Like, there's no point even trying, bros. Imagine. These guys consider themselves to be actual, like, important people who have ideologically strong viewpoints worth sharing, worth charging money for. That have been that have tried to attach. I think they tried to attach themselves, or were part of the National Justice Party, which was supposed to be like the NSDAP of the of the United States or some shit. And that went nowhere. It's like, of course, it went nowhere. How do you listen to people who are so fucking gay and so fucking defeatist? Like, they founded NJP. Okay, this is um, the right stuff. Is their podcast? And this is Sven, aka Jesse, talking. There's one guy in the background who just seems to be like, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Like, I don't think he's fully on board with this, but the main guy talking is just, like, seething that the Kiwi Farms exist because our info laundering is so good. Where's my fucking check? Any- <laughs> Where's my fucking check? Where's my Gabe Hoffman check for, for my info laundering? I always have things to spend money on now that will support the site. The podcast race, that's right. I, I I worded this much more eloquently on on Zitter. It is like 
the most morally bankrupt, intellectually vacuous, unprincipled, craven, craven especially, craven position to take. And if it inconveniences you, well, that's your own fault. And then he says this, this part. Your website goes offline until they stop being mad. Right, and they're not the one that does it. Like they, they they're, never gonna that, that they're never going to take that. They're never going to take that site all the way down because it's like a- it, simultaneously. There's no point resisting it because they always win. But also, they're not the ones doing it because we. I think he realized how bad it was. They'd be like, "Don't even try." They're just so much smarter, better, funnier, more interesting, more intelligent than I am. Like he has to backtrack that statement almost immediately. And he says, then he realizes that the site's still up. Um. Oh, I mean, it's never gonna, it's never gonna go fully down because it's like an Intel, like it's a Intel wandering oh my. site yeah, for the, yeah. for the as feds, is like so. just love the, the complete depletion of confidence in his voice because he realizes internally that he's contradicted himself like eight fucking times in a row, and he just has to like continue. It's like he's playing like a game where he's just like a like paddle ball. He has like a ball. He's just trying to keep up, so he's pushing it and it keeps falling out to different sides and has to run and catch it and keep keep bouncing it back up. Uh, Who's the one talking at the end? Is that Mike or Sven? Mike? Who's the guy that's saying the dumb shit? Can't fight like a super... You can't fight like Mike a tranny that works in big tech, like in a powerful position. Like, they just win. You're, like, yeah. the idea that they're like hackers, like... It's the same guy. Because, like, <laughs> they keep... Like, Kiwi Farms keep... Yeah, so Mike is the retard. I said Sven. Sven's the one that seems like... Then I had to find out about this Liz Fong Jones person, well, and then no, Liz too. Fong Jones was dating <laughs> like oh, a. They're both retarded. I'm trying to, I, I, in my head, for whatever reason, I'm thinking one of them is retarded, and one of them is being more reserved and not retarded. And then I realized on well, a second, uh, another listen through. Oh, they're both retarded. They're both fucking dumb. <laughs> Great, master, master of that shit. Voice blind, listen. I have a big brain full of many beautiful thoughts, and I will spare no more room to this matter. It's three people. Now you're fucking with me. I'm moving on with this. By the way, if they see the on, if they see the, <laughs> if they see the on transgender Twitter, uh, please screen cap it and post it in the thread because I will laugh at this. Third guy is also retarded. Okay. I love that when I start talking about the right stuff um, and I'm asking for clarification, I'm getting all the guys with German names out in my chat, like head toads angle. <laughs> he pops out. Oh yeah. That guy's also retarded. <laughs> I know him. He's, he's stupid as fuck. Thanks bro. Uh, Don Cachon. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.